Hey, what's up guys? It's Bjorn from Jurassic Park Triops and this is a little update video uh, where I'm going to feed the Granarius Triops. It's about the Granarius Triops. Um, they are about two to three weeks old right now and they actually have been growing quite a bit. Um, as you can see, they are quite big now. Um, they are all adults. Well, they actually were in the hatchery already, but they have developed some interesting body shapes now as well. Um, these are two males. Uh, the males have a flatter head shield and um, a longer tail. And a lot of this stuff is going on right now. Uh, it kind of looks a little bit like like fighting, but it actually is not fighting. Um, this is a gonochoric triop species, which means that they actually have two um, genders. So uh, we have males and females now instead of hermaphrodites. Um, thing is that the trials actually have to mate right now so um, they will actually engage in mating right now uh, and it's actually really fun to watch um, basically they will just uh, a male will kind of um, sit on top of a female trials and they start to curl into each other they do their thing and basically this is how the eggs get fertilized by the male but um, sometimes the males are not completely sure which ones are the females so sometimes some males engage in mating in a mating attempt as well um, it looks pretty funny um, basically they get scared and uh, freaked out and just m go on with their day um, oh, here we see some males interested in the female this is a female in the middle oh well this is what I meant Female is not interested in the male. <laughs> so this is the female. As you can see, she has some egg sacs on the side, uh, just like the usual traps that are hermaphrodite species. Uh, the thing is that these species can actually fertilize themselves, so the females don't need males to reproduce this species does so it is completely different to our uh, compared with the hermaphrodite triops but it is really interesting here you can see the differences between the male and the body the male and the female body type so the right one is a male this is a female female has egg sacs as you can see over here the egg sacs and the males don't have the egg sacs and as you can see they are a little bit uh, longer well the tail is a little bit longer and the head shield is a little bit more flattened uh, I believe that the tails are a little bit longer and I believe what the reason is um, when the male is actually uh, mounting the female, they actually curl around the female like this, on uh, sideways. And um, well, oh well, that was a good explanation, but it wasn't successful. Female wasn't interested again. Um, <laughs> happens quite a lot in this tank because there are quite a quite a lot of males and not enough females to well give them all a try so um, problem is that uh, the females kind of get tired of the amount of males in this tank so I might gonna remove some males um, by putting them inside the main tank the 60 liter tank and um, well the females will get a little bit more rest which is maybe necessary uh, <laughs> yeah they really got active so and they actually are only two or three weeks old so well, that's quite a lot of activity for these young ones. Um, I'm going to feed them a little bit as well. These are some uh, Hikari crab menu pellets. I'm going to drop them in right now. Like this. Um, this is a little food source that actually has some added calcium in it. And it should uh, be good for uh, crustaceans with assisting the molting procedure process. Um, so I was trying like, hey, maybe it works with traps as well. Maybe it is beneficial to traps. Um, they definitely have found out that there is some food inside the tank right now. You really can see the increased activity right now in the front of the tank. At the front of the tank I'm sorry guys 
really interesting species. Let's try to zoom in a little bit as well. So here we have four males and just one female. This is what I told that I was telling about. Um, the ratio of males and females is pretty off right now. So um, I'm not going to introduce more granarias because I was actually planning on um, hatching a gonochoric cancriformis species as well, which is interesting. Uh, I only had uh, hermaphrodite cancriformis species before, about three different or four different ones. And I actually have a fifth and a sixth, sixth and both of them are gonochoric cancriformis species. So that's interesting. And what I wanted to do is trying to find out if it is possible to actually um, let a granarius male having um, a mating session like with the cancriformis female and try to see and find out if it's possible to actually breed triops hybrids as well. So part of the genes will come from a, a cancriformis species and the other genes will come from the granarius species. Um, as both of these species are actually living uh, in Europe as well, uh, I thought this was maybe one of the closest and pos most possible um, mixes. Uh, I also have an American Longicadaudus gonochoric species in my egg bank. And uh, I actually want to try if it's possible to mate um, with these as well, like to have them mating with these as well. So that you would get a Granarius longicadaudus um, hybrid. Eventually, uh, I wanted to find out if there, if it's also possible uh, to mix uh, between hybrids, even possible, if that's even possible. So that's what we're going to find out in the future, guys. Uh, for now, I have a nice uh, little tiny colony of Granarius, um, mostly males. <laughs> Unfortunately, um, I had about eight females, but several of them have passed away already. Um, not completely sure if this is due to stress or something. Uh, I did witness some molting issues in some of the females, and uh, well, the, actually, the males are so active. Well, they never have too much uh, molting issues, so well, not I know of. Um, I'm also going to add another source of food right now. These are the Hikari uh, micro algae wafers. Um, this is a food source that they truly like as well. So let's add that in as well. Little food rain coming in right now. But yeah, they definitely like these tiny pellets and um, they are easy to grab for them. So it is a really tiny, nice food source for triops, both juveniles and adults. So that's like my uh, medium size food for the triops. Um, well, the other pellets aren't that big as well. As you can see, these are the pellets and these are the micro wafers. And they definitely both like them. Um, well, the packaging as well of the, let's see, the Crab Cuisine mix also says that it is um, a, of, uh, a naturally... Let me see, guys. Give me a second. <laughs> I need to adjust the camera a little bit. Oh, yeah, there we go. A naturally flavorful taste crustaceans love. So I was really interested if uh, Troops would be interested in the taste as well. And that's definitely true, actually. So really can recommend the food source. Um, it claims that it actually has some added calcium, like I said before. So I think that is a good addition as well. Well, the microalgae wafers, I think those are pretty much like other basic... Uh, micro wafer so I don't think that these are too extra beneficial but they are perfectly fine as a normal food source so I use these quite often as well well I was actually hoping on some uh, hoping to be able to actually capture a, a successful mating uh, process with a male and a female but they are not up to it right now 
Um, definitely a lot of attempts, but the females don't seem to be interested uh, <laughs> at this time of the evening. So um, what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to turn off the lights for these little guys and girls. And um, tomorrow I will be um, possibly processing some eggs again from the albino canker forms they will be in stock very soon again so if you guys would like to order the albino canker form species it is possible very soon uh, you can basically just decide to contact me by a chat like the instagram chat facebook chat it's also possible to can contact me by email and you can find my email on the channel page on the channel page um well Next, uh, I'm going to visit my girlfriend in the weekend again, and uh, we're going to have a look at the 180 liter tank possibly again. And this time, uh, I I did add uh, a tiny bit of stock already, uh, some shrimp and some autosynclus fishies, and they are actually doing pretty fine right now. So um, I hope you guys will be enjoying that video as well. Um, hope to see you guys next time. Stay tuned. Bye.